want the morning to show you. I'm gonna make it a show. Just so to make it a show. Back to my channel. This is Angel and a special guest. Nisi. Y'all can follow me on Instagram at Nisi the Dawn with two ends at the end. Okay, so today our video is gonna be a girl talk. I'll just discuss some things. You wanna ask the first question or you want me? Okay. okay. I asked my Snapchat to give me a few questions, so so I'm on the phone. Okay. That them questions are a little too spicy. Um the first question is how do you plan to carry on your legacy? Um, honestly, I want to be a business owner or have something in my name before I get 35. So when I do get older and have kids, they can have something they can relay on or rely on when I'm gone. Kids the right way so they know how to run the business, how it's supposed to go, what's supposed to be selling, what's not supposed to be selling, what's the price supposed to be at the end of the week. Teaching them the game, milking the game to them, that was milk to me. Yeah, she, 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 that's how I'm gonna carry on the legacy. She basically said it all. Just basically, just build a career for your kids, build a life for your kids. That's basically it. Got my question off of Twitter. It was: Is marriage more of a commitment or a child? What do you think? Is marriage a, is marriage more of a commitment or a child? Is more of a commitment. Both of them. You gotta be committed to that marriage just like you committed to that child. No. If you ain't committed to the marriage, but the child is a bigger commitment though. Cause that's 18 years. I don't know, I feel like they go half and half because my child gonna be a commitment before anything, before marriage, in my opinion, before anything. Because at the end of the day, that marriage, you can get divorced. Your child gonna always be there at the end of the day. That marriage is just like... I want to do something like a commitment to y'all to stay together. Yeah, my, my child, child gonna always be in my life. They gonna have to have, but my child... That nigga gonna come and go, do as he please, be here one my day, be gone the next day. At the top, always. Um, on that. Please get explicit. Would you have a threesome with your nigga? I can't, I can't do it. We spice our own relationship up. I don't need nobody else to add it to my relationship to spice mm -hmm. that bitch up. Me personally, no. I would have a person. Not, not with, with my, my relationship. <laughs> not my relationship. But yeah. I'm single, by the way, really. Yeah. Because I'm bound. After we done, what's up, shorty? You, we, we gotta, we gotta see this side. What's up? I'm not. Mm -mm. But yeah, no, I wouldn't have a thing. The next question is, do you like sucking dick? Do you like sucking dick? <laughs> I'm a big you, but yeah. <laughs> Do I like mm, give it head? It depends on the mood that I'm in. I'm not gonna say I'm waking up every day and just going crazy. I'm not waking every day and going up every day and going crazy. It depends on how I'm feeling. Then I might be like, mm -hmm. can I knock the motherfucker back? But no. It ain't just something that I just Hey. You want some many? <laughs> how I'm feeling. Would you fuck on your period? No. 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 I'm gonna beat you up if you try me. That is the most, I don't care, my opinion. That is trifling. That is no. disrespectful. That is, I, no, to me, no. I don't even wanna be touched on my period, so having sex on my period is a big no-no. But, um, okay, the next one is, how, what? Just how you feel being a plus size girl. Like how does like treat you being a plus size girl? When I was girl. younger, I hated it. I hated it so much. I used to get bullied so much. Then my mama figured out that I had ADHD, so I had to take medication. So I was up from losing weight, gaining the weight, losing weight, gaining the weight. Then when I knew I could lose weight, I kind of got a little confidence. 
when I got into middle school, it got bad, but I started hanging with her. So my weight was like dropping. So I was like, period. <laughs> then I got into high school. In freshman year, I was small. Then after that, I started getting jobs and I started getting fat because my jobs was food jobs. And then insecurities just came with them being fat. Um. Me, me younger, I was always heavy set. <clears throat> Stuff when I was like a child, but I was always heavy set. I always had confidence. Always. Um, I I started losing confidence probably like recently, probably like last year. But I'm getting in the back. <laughs> I'm getting in the back, but I always had confidence as a big girl. Anybody can tell you I wore what I wanted to wear. That I always got talked about. Look, I didn't care. Because guess what, baby? If it's in my size, I'm gonna put it on. I'm I remember put that shit on. Fresh me, I had wore this little bitty like square type shirt that was see through, and these tights because I didn't have a fupa back then. And the fupa. So many people was talking about me. Oh, you too big to be wearing that. And they didn't wasn't knowing. They niggas wanted me. They was texting me. Ooh, Let's get into you it. You look good. Woo woo woo. Come meet me in the hallway. No. Let's get into it. No. And when I graduated, I felt myself getting even fatter. So a little bit after graduation, I got a boyfriend. It's my ex now. We still talk. And he's skinny, and I always felt like people was going to question, like, how, like talk about me or his exes will talk about me. Oh, you going with the fat girl? She big, woo woo woo. And he will always tell me like, I love fat girls. And he gave me a little confidence. And, like he gave me a little confidence. And he always like play with my fat. And I'd be like, don't no, touch me, don't, 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 don't touch my fat. And he'd be like, stop. I love that shit. Period. But I don't know. Like I think being fat ruins my relationships too. Cause I do feel like you being funny. Don't look at me the wrong way. Cause if I call you a skinny cinnamon stick, I'ma be wrong. Okay. Next question is dating as a plus size girl. I really, mm, it was in my opinion, I never had a problem dating as a plus size girl. Cause they be like, guess what? Niggas be true. Nobody actually ever turned me down. I never actually went to go try to fuck with a nigga. They always tried to fuck with me. So, if you see me with him, it's because he wanted to fuck with me. And all of my, what you want to call them, sneaky links, boyfriends, people I didn't talk to, dealt with, was skinny. There was, I was only one person. He was football size big, like he played sports. Man. He was, he was hard. He wasn't fat, fat, but he was fat. And I didn't like you. Uh, but me, mm -mm. I never had a problem, baby, because guess what? Angel to play. Now, when y'all see me in a relationship. Actually, I never got cheated on for being big either. Yeah, I better pray. But no. in my relationship, I don't feel like I, well, if I didn't, I didn't know. But <laughs> I ain't never get cheated on that I knew of, so. But I never got cheated on for like being plus size or being insecure about Yeah, being plus size was never my problem. <clears throat> and one thing I can tell you plus size women do not have surgery because a nigga is fucking with bitches skinnier than you. Don't do nothing. Okay, hold on. Speaking of that, don't do nothing for a nigga. If you want to do something, surgery, do it for yourself. Because at the end of the day, you still going to be unhappy. Because you never did that for yourself. So you you lost the weight and you had the surgery but you still gonna have the confidence of when you was bigger due to the fact that you did it for the wrong reasons. Always do anything for yourself. I don't care. Put that shit on for yourself. Fuck what people say because guess what? They gonna talk if you small. They gonna talk if you big. Yeah, I don't have a butt and so, I still wear whatever I wanna wear. And also, because a nigga look at a skinny girl, you feel like, oh, I need to lose weight because he don't like that. I need to lose weight because he like him skinny. Whole time when you go have that surgery and try to come back to him, he's going to definitely leave you because he liked it all that fatness and that extra meat on you. And he just because he stare at a girl, 
don't mean go make your body shape like that girl because he don't really like that girl. He likes you. Yes. He's like your fat. Don't go change your fat because you see him. Ooh, baby, you see her? Don't. He just complimenting her. And another thing, we talking about plus size, but skinny girls too. Anybody. Don't go buy all the bottles of abdomen to don't, look like Don't us. change yourself for nobody. Because guess what? If, if the nigga, the dude, really wants you, he going to like you for you. He ain't gonna like you because you change, or if you are changing for somebody, that's not your somebody. Because what are you changing for? If you want to, if you and him plan a change together, that's a different story. But don't ever change for nobody and women, period. If you big and all he do is make fat jokes about you, leave him, <laughs> period. Big. Girl. That one fat joke, okay, I'm, I'm gonna let it slide. No, because that one fat joke is the truth. Don't let nobody down you, no nigga. When niggas keep making fat jokes, every time y'all get into an argument, he throw up, you fat, you All bitch, you, you do dad. is spend money on food, woo, woo, woo. Believe him. No. Now, if y'all both are, Believe like, him. actually just playing with each other, you know, like, you little skinny twig or something like that. No. But once he gets mm -hmm. to, you eat fat cakes and you <laughs> You be eating Twinkies? No, you gotta go. Cause I don't even eat Twinkies. I was just about to say that, bitch. Why did y'all used to say that about big girls that we ate Twinkies? I don't even eat Twinkies. Don't eat them. I never bought a Twinkie. Come hey, up with something new. Oh, and when y'all arguing with big girls, please stop saying y'all fat. That's that's when we was kids. It would have affected us. But, and, baby, but I, before that, before I said something you like, you was trying to mess with me. But now that I turned you down, oh, you fat anyway. Anybody. I was going to pass you to the team. Skinny girls, big girls, what the whoop. <laughs> Girl, when, that nigga, when you turn that nigga down and he bash you. No. Hold on, let's see. You can go. Y'all men need to stop being crazy and stalking us at our grandma's house. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, what? That's how they be. Stop stalking her to say that grandma's house. You had a stalker before. Hold on. This is something I gotta think about. <laughs> you think you ever had a stalker before? Yes. Okay, the beginning of the gym, y'all. I don't care if you... I was at the gym. Oh, I remember. I, I started going to the gym at the beginning of the year. I wanted to lose weight with the whoop. I never seen this man at the gym. never seen him at the gym, y'all. I'll be back, y'all. I kept going days and days and days. I never seen him at the gym. He texted me on Instagram. I'm like, oh, I seen you at the I gym. Like I remind y'all, I never seen him at the gym. So how are you seeing me? And I always watch my surroundings. I'm, I'm, I'm a very paranoid person. Y'all, why does why he start popping up at the gym? Like, boom, 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 boom. And I, I don't know. Maybe look, maybe I'm just talking. Just giving stalking. Very much so. Stalking. But he probably wasn't. So I don't really know. I had a stalker before. They, they, well, it was one person. He got mad because I told him I didn't love him. <laughs> because I told him I didn't love him. And I'll be at her house and he'll be like, come outside. How you know my oh. man? I'm not even at home. Come outside. You need to come outside. No. So the day that I told him I love him, y'all, he took my phone, he threw it, he smashed it, he stumped on it, all type of stuff. The police knew exactly who I was talking about because they just ran into him. And he wanted to text me a couple years later. You sent me to jail. You was talking me. Everywhere I went. And then you broke my phone. Broke my phone. My first iPhone. Don't be with people like that. Like, uh-uh. When that first idea of being toxic, leave. And I was only in 11th grade. I was like, I wouldn't even talk to you every day. Leave. You barely get a text message <laughs> out of me. Leave. And being toxic is not cute. All right, the next question is, is it okay for your man to hang out alone with his girl friends? His friends is girls. No. Why I couldn't come? 
me personally, I don't want my spoil. I feel like I should be his only friend. As in a female. That's a little toxic. <laughs> as in a female. Like, well, yeah, because my, my dude not gonna want me to have boyfriends. And then you never know some females' intentions. They might actually really like him. And he thinking, that's just my friend. Mm -hmm. But no, she really plotting to get even closer to you. Getting them drugs. And then when you when you ask to come around, she, no, we going to a two-person thing only. That's why the date. Why me and you can't go then? That's the date. Like, why so, my boyfriend got to come? Yeah, I feel like you never know no nobody intentions. People lie. The it's whole a, time your boyfriend's sleeping with his best friend. It's a mad day coming. That's when it's gonna come out. So yeah, no. Um lying. Why you gonna lie and say your drawers is stuck <laughs> with that really green? Like, none of that. <laughs> Girl, I'm thinking A big is turn off for me. Girl. It's about to be a book. <laughs> but. Everything. If I ask you a why you got to turn my communication into an argument? That's a big turn off. The biggest turn off for me is. Okay, you asked me something about life. And I don't, I don't answer your question. I have, At the moment, I don't have the answer for you. And you come back with, yeah, this, that. Basically, you trying to argue with me. You know, you're trying to up on me, like, talk down, basically. When you don't know nothing about me, or you didn't even let me get the chance to answer the question before. A bragger. I hate a bragger. Like, do, how, you say, for instance, somebody asks me, oh, do you got a car? Or do ask me, do you got a car? Yeah, well, what type of car? I say, 2003 Honda. Oh, I got a 2021 Honda? Like, and I, and I understand you're probably happy. Don't get me wrong. But, like, a person that's always, you could be like, oh, yeah, I got this one bedroom. Yeah, I got a, a five bedroom. Okay. That's, that's good. But I'm telling you, I got a one bedroom, and I'm happy in my one bedroom. So, what is your point of telling me you got a bigger bedroom? Next question. This is off my mind. Huh? Biggest turn off in a friend. Just fake, like like somebody that's not supportive. Mine's is it can be a cousin, a friend, your mama, anybody. You ask me to go somewhere. Oh, I don't have it. Oh, well, never mind. This came up. I'ma do this. Uh, okay, you know the first time that's that's cool. You ain't gotta pay for me to go nowhere. I didn't want you to pay for me. Um, it's they go round, and you be like, hey, you wanna go out and do this? Oh, I just pay all the bills. I ain't got no money. And I'd be like, okay, I'll pay for you. I'll pay for you that time. Second, third time come around. You ask me and I don't have nothing. Or I'd be like, I only have half because you pay the rest for me. No, I got to do this. I got to do that. And speaking on the going back and forth. So we go out. I pay your way. Okay. It's all cool. Fine. You don't hear nothing about it. You know, thank you with the wool. All of a sudden, I don't have no money when it's time for us to go out. You pay my way, you throwing it up in my face. Remember when I did this for Oh, me? no, I don't got no money because I had to pay her. I had to do this for her. You could have told me no. Don't don't ever do. That's why I don't ask nobody to do nothing for me because don't ever throw nothing up in my face. See, we, we can pay for each other. We can go half on it. We can do whatever because we don't be knowing each other's situation. And it be those ones that they'll call you and brag about having this much money, that much money. And they not telling you because they happy. They telling you trying to put you down. Girl. You calling me and I be like, ooh, I'm low on this. Could you help me? Uh-uh, I can't do it. But you... You done. You know what I was going to say. <laughs> you know what I... But is, this is this coming off the head right here. Ain't can booze you with no money. Oh, I knew who was gonna say that. <laughs> Y'all, I'm never gonna ask booze. My shirt was $9.99. No. 
my whole family gonna tell you I'm bougie. But I'm gonna always have some money in my pocket. But still. Three dollars, a dollar, fifty cents. You can like bougie with a dollar in your pocket, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. That is, okay. That is my one of my biggest pet peeves. Acting like you better than somebody. You don't got no money. Trying to pull a point, there's no point to me. They're materialistic and you put you spending your money on the wrong stuff for people in public. And guess what, baby? We you you broke about, about to get that. you broke about to get put out, lights off, car about to get repoed, water off, cause you went and bought them new Jordans that new Louis Vuitton bag and your priorities was messed up. Went and bought a birthday bag, you knowing that was your last meal. So don't in my opinion, don't ever Fuck my opinion. Anybody opinion. Don't ever be materialistic and you don't got the money. Always put your priorities first because guess what? You you, you can't live in that Birkin. Show you all ass show can live with them Jordan. Y'all let me tell y'all. I remember one time Angie wanted to go to Austin and I was trying to get a loan to go. And our mama just kept telling me, Shanice is not your time. Shanice is not your time. It's not your time yet. And I'm like, but my friend going, I gotta go. My friend going, it's not your time. It's not your time. Wait your time. Wait your time. And guess what? I'm gonna wait my time. She wait her. Tell me what's up. Don't I ever sit there. The don't ever sit there and be like, oh, I got the money. Whoop the whoop, whoop the whoop. We didn't plan the whole trip, but grown. And you ain't got no money. You ain't even got the money for your half. So always tell the truth. Period. Because I could have lied and be like, yeah, I got the money. Then we get up the She needs to put your part to pay for the room. Please. Well, you can't do nothing because one person ain't got this. You don't want them to be sitting out on doing nothing. But yeah. That's enough. How to get over someone you gave your all. I honestly can't answer that because I still love the person that I gave my all to. All I can say is take your time off. I'm to, I'm taking my time off. Take your time off. Find yourself. Show him that you can boss up from him and don't make him feel like you need him. Because they're going to always need you. <laughs> Angel just don't, don't do relationships, period. Y'all listen, I ain't gonna speak on those, but Angel ain't about to get played by no This question say Should, should you I send news to do? No, cause <laughs> let you make them mad Okay, hold on Speaking of news No But if you gonna send them news Y'all y'all know y'all don't motherfucking listen Y'all do not listen Y'all got gonna the send, <laughs> If you gonna send them news don't, don't put your face in it. Yeah. Baby, crop the head off. If you got tattoos on the body, blur, right blur here, on the anything, blur them out. I never saw the news. But y'all don't listen. Them boys be quick to expose y'all when y'all break up. Your panties was dirty. <laughs> <laughs> you had this <laughs> in, your, in your thing. <laughs> Niggas don't care. Yo, she talking about people. Me personally, I ain't sending no news. But but I'ma say, okay. If you go, <laughs> if you gonna send them news, make sure you blur anything that can identify you out. That's all I'ma say. But do you see? Send that picture off text now. Do you see? <laughs> <laughs> okay. This other question say, why does my boyfriend ignore me? That Baby, is your boyfriend. Is that man ignoring you? He giving that attention to somebody else. Then he might be gay. Girl, what? <laughs> Wait. What? He might be gay. What? You ignoring me? You ignoring me? Why Why are you ignoring me? Nah, but for real. He giving that attention to somebody else. Baby, break up with him. He ain't your man. Because why are you being weird to me? No, that ain't even about why are you being weird to me, mama, baby. <laughs> he don't like you. Um. Okay, the next question. How do I get over someone who never like? Wait, never like me? How you? Wait, wait. <laughs> Why you like him and he never liked you? I see a crush, but bitch, did you fall in love with somebody? Never? It's giving delusional, honey. Baby, you need to go see a psych ward. 
It's giving delusions all around it. You, I hope you ain't stalking him either. Go save your damn self. Go get baptized. <laughs> <laughs> get baptized. That's Go see Jesus. And y'all just know you stalking him. I know you stalking that man. <laughs> and football practice, soccer practice, <laughs> baseball practice. I know you stalking that Why man. Why around your Audi? I know you nah, but for real. Girl, leave that man alone. Warren.